Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Infinity OO with 1074 rating versus Ibiza with 909 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and with that being said, let's just hop right in. We're going to see Ibiza win the rock, paper, scissors shoot, and they'll decide to go first. 40 versus 60, opening hands, we have Ash, Scarlet, Illusion, Temple, and Nib, so we are going to see what it looks like Cybers Eldlish versus DDD, they have Griffin, Ogre, Ash, Swirl Slime, and Headhunt. So, they're going to go ahead, normal summon out, Swirl Slime. Griffin, the special summon itself out. Not that crazy of a hand here, but at least it gets to the Link 2. Uh, activate the effect, scale up, and then lose 1,000. So, they're going to scale up the Thomas and the Orthros. Uh, they forgot to take the 1,000. Feels like all DDD players just forget. There we go. Uh, and they're going to set and pass. So, again, not that great. Not that great at all. But they're going to pass to draw, draw, Knockbird. Now, activate Temple, Banish to go search, so letting this go. They could have Ashed it, but they're going to Ogre. Activate right, summon out the token, and then bring out Fateful. Now, they're going to activate Illusion of Chaos. So, Illusion of Chaos to search souls, and then put back Illusion of Chaos. Activate souls, show log of what Illusion you put back. You don't put back Illusion. <laughs> I've had to say this so many times this week. You literally just put any card back. It's any card this week. You put back Mayor Mayor. Uh, Souls effect. Discard one. And then they get to draw. Draws in the temple. Temple effect. The special summon itself out. Free extender. Extender. Extendees. Go for dark. Dark effect to summon out the swirl slime. Now go battle phase. They're going to Dark Beat over. But now they're going to activate that effect, the Special Summon. Uh, maybe you just Token Beat over to get the damage in. That uh, should be in defense also. It's only double D, no? <laughs> I can. DDD is DD. Yep, it is. It indeed is. That's how uh, Griffin can search Headhunt. But DDD is not DD. Then they're going to turn those into Nightmare Phoenix. Nightmare Phoenix effect, target. They're going to chain headhunt to take the Nightmare Phoenix. Um, Don't you think you take Dark there instead of Nightmare Phoenix? Because if Dark's destroyed, they get a search. So I feel like you take that. They're going to normal summon Ash, turn those into Anaconda. Because like it has to be destroyed in their possession. Um, yeah, while well, it's in the owner's monster zone. So summon, and then activate, pay 2,000, go dump Fusion Destiny, dump the bricks, summon out Enforcer, and now they're going to activate Scarlet, banish, go set, so set Conquistador, and then Enforcer will be able to destroy Conquistador, so that way they can get the Scarlet, which gets to the Eldritch Engine quicker. I love how the, uh, the Eldritch Engine works very well with the Enforcer. So they're going to pop Thomas, uh, pop Conquistador, and then Conquistador effect, go set Scarlet. Pass turn, draw Swirl Slime. Now, they're going to switch to attack. Go ahead and go for this. And they can do that because it, this makes it a DDD. Battle phase, attack Enforcer. Enforcer effect to pop. So, that'll be popping Anaconda and Siegfried. And this gets beat over effect. Well, you know, they're going to go ahead and attack over it still. And then... Main phase two, Zeus. Um, so they decide to still attack over, even though they plan on going for Zeus. You probably just don't beat over Enforcer then, because monster count changed. So you can just like get a redeclare, and you're just like, cool, I'm not going to redeclare. Oh, but then you can't Zeus because then an XYZ hasn't battled. That's right. Okay, this makes sense. This makes sense. Uh, Zeus effect the wipe, chain Scarlet, so not ashing this, you know, uh, that goes to Extract, there's no point of ashing it when you can hit Celestial. Then Summon Swirl Slime, Special Summon Griffin, you know, it, it worked turn one, it's gonna work turn two, somewhat, they do have Nib, effect scale up. So, bring out Ragnarok, and then Griffin, take a thousand... Special summon out Orthros and Griffin. And then they're not going to use that effect. And then drop Nib. 
So tribute everything, pass over the token, and then just pass turn. There we go. They finally lose their thousand. Draw illusion. Standby phase. Bring out enforcer. Main phase. Illusion of chaos. And they probably should just chain Ash in response to this because that makes it so that way they can't activate Celestial, but also stop souls from coming out. They probably just lose anyways though. Like there's there's way too much here. So they should ash this, but they don't. And now they're gonna grab souls and then put back. Souls, dump the illusion of chaos, special summon out. Uh Celestial to go draw. They're gonna ash blossom that. Now they can Scarlet, go set, get rid of it for Lord, Enforcer, pop souls, or pop Lord, and pop token. Temple going into game two now. We're gonna see DDD go first. Hopefully they open better this time. We have Illusion of Chaos, Cyber Gadget, Nib, Conquistador, and Draco back. One hand trap going second. They have Griffin, Ogre, Gate, Ash, and Small World. Small World is uh kind of obsolete in the DDD deck list now because it takes too many cards. So they're gonna activate, go from Ash to Phantasm to Cope. Okay, that works. Um, fair enough, fair enough. Now, activate gate, gate effect to go search. So, gate, grab swirl slime. Now, activate swirl slime effect, get rid of itself and griffin. Summon, banish, special effects, summon out from the graveyard, and then they're gonna dump necro slime, and then griffin effect. So Griffin's going to grab Orthros, that way they can normal summon Orthros, and then make Floor um, before being able to get hit with Nib, and then summon Link 2, Link 2 effect, scale up Thomas and Griffin. Hey, they take the thousand, let's go. Uh, Thomas effect, add back Orthros. Now they're going to Pendulum summon out those, and then Orthros from hand. Overlay into Wave King Caesar, turn those into the Link 2, Wave King Caesar effect to go grab Swamp from the deck. Um, okay, not grabbing Swamp. They're going to grab Patent Lease, which I guess makes sense. Okay, get rid of those, summon, go for the XYZ, effect, special summon, back out Griffin from the graveyard. Uh, they're going to try to nib, but they're going to floor. And they then go into Siegfried. They already Griffin searched Orthros earlier on, by the way. Activate and then pass. So they made the link two when they didn't really have to make the link two because they could have floor popped Wave King Caesar. But I guess let's put something else in graveyard for maybe a fusion summon later on or something. And then still have one left in the extract, and that's. Good enough. Draw Scarlet. So standby phase, you're going to use Effect to try to summon the Link, but you can't do that. Yeah, it's level 9 or lower. Uh, so, so many plays could have been done if, if this just didn't say level 9 or lower. Activate Illusion of Chaos. Go grab Souls and then put back. And then it's going to put back Draco back. Activate Souls. Go dump Illusion of Chaos. Special Summon out. And then Souls Effect, they're going to get rid of two. And then they're going to chain Floor, but they already used Floor Effect to negate. Yeah. They're going to chain this just to go ahead and snatch it up. They still get to resolve it, though. So draws double droplet off of that. And then they just submit the feet. Okay. Uh, going into the next game now, we're going to see Infinity get to go first. Opening hands. It's like, what else did they have? They had Siegfried, Field spell, but there was no link on Field. So, you could just normal summon the Cybers, but then they lose out to XYZ effect, but they have Droplet for XYZ effect, and they have Illusion to get rid of to negate that, If they because if they get rid of Droplet off Droplet, they Siegfried negate. So they could have tried to play there. Uh, we have Cursed, Right, Conquistador, Right, Lancia, Token Collector, Moonlit, Token Collector, Thomas, and Swirl Slime. So it looks like they're playing like Moonlit, Ogre, Ash, Bell in the main deck maybe. Those hand traps because those work with Phantasmae. Like Small World, like, you know, Small World into Phantasmae, Bridge, and then good grab. 
Uh, right, summon token, then bring out Fateful. Now they're going to token collector. So token collector, chain link one, Fateful, chain link two. Fateful, never mind, not grabbing Draco back. They're going to grab Temple, discard, and then I was about to say, like, there's no way. First of all, you can't use that because you did right. Second of all, there's no way you're playing the field spell. <laughs> now activate Fateful. Oh, that's going to grab Draco back. Now activate Cursed. Effect, pay it, feel great, go search. And that's going to grab the Golden Lord from the deck to the hand. Now Golden Lord effect, get rid of itself. And the Draco back, out Token Collector. Out Cursed to bring out Lord. And now they could use Cursed effect, but there's no point because they already have Conquistador in Graveyards. Now they're just going through their engine quicker than necessary. I guess this plays around like Diddy Crow, which no one plays. They're going to Moonlit that on Summon. You kind of have to because you can't wait. Set right, End Phase, Conquistador. Banish, go set Scarlet. Then pass turn, draw gate, main phase. Okay, that gate definitely helped out the hand a lot. Uh, Swirl slime, get rid of itself and Thomas, bring that out. And I feel like they're going to Lancia here to stop Swirl slime. Yeah, Lancia there. Now, the opponent has to think here. They're going to go for the XYZ, so that way they can Zeus. You know, leaving the fusion there also wouldn't have been that bad, because the fusion can negate Scarla. But go for Zeus. Zeus effect to go wipe. That's fine. Like, they can't banish, but they're going to activate Gate. And Gate. Go grab Cope. And then normal summon Cope. Cope effect to go dump. So dump Lamia. Lamia. Get rid of Gate. Summon. And then slap those into this effect, scale up. So bring out Keplar and Orthros. And then just pass. Doesn't even pendulum. Doesn't even pendulum out cope. Just chooses to pass. Okay. Okay. Draws foolish. Activate foolish burial. Uh, go dump dotscaper. Dotscaper effect special summon out. Now, Temple, Banish, go grab Right. Um, right will lose out to Token Collector that's in Graveyard. Scarlet, Banish, go Set, Set Wakero. They have Golden Lord. And that's it. So they're going to Golden Lord. Activate Right, bring out Token. I guess this brings out Fateful. Yeah, they're playing too Fateful. And then token collector, wipe the token. Oh, uh, they still... They're going to Fateful, grab, and then discard. Grab Temple, discard that. And they would only do that play right there if they were going to Golden Lord get rid of the Fateful. Summon out Golden Lord. Then battle phase, go beat over. Uh, definitely can't beat over the link there, otherwise they're going to get that effect to summon, Zeus effect to equip, so beat over, main phase 2, end phase, Conquistador goes set Scarlet, so chooses to set up Wakero versus the opponent instead of Conquistador. Also Foolish Burial's Dotscaper for absolutely no reason, draws Ash Blossom. Pendulum. It just didn't really seem like they knew what they were doing that turn. Like, wow. Why are they not making Anaconda? Oh, they already made Anaconda. And they're probably only playing one Anaconda. Summon out Cope. Uh, you can't Pendulum that out because you cannot Pendulum summon monsters except DDD monsters. Or DD monsters. Um, and also this effect triggered lowering its level or its scale. But there's nothing big enough on the field for them to destroy. So they're going to dump Necro Slime and then activate Necro Slime. Chain Walk Hero to go banish Necro Slime. Overlay those, which you can do because this is a Fiend. Go into Wave King Caesar. Slap those into the Link 2. Wave King Caesar effect to go search. And they know the last card is Scarlet. So they're going to grab Swamp King there. Activate Swamp King. Go banish. And then bring out the Flame King. 
Go for the XYZ. Flame King effect, special summon out from the graveyard. Now... Okay, so they were like, hold on, hold on. We summoned this in the main monster zone, but I don't want it there. I realized I had made a mistake. <laughs> so we're going to take that back. Then they're going to not get rid of... So they're just taking back everything now. Effect, special summon, battle phase, beat over, beat over, main phase two, pass. Oh my gosh, what is this? They could have, like, done way more, right? You for sure could have done more than this. Or at least make your board look better than this. You don't end with token collector in attack position. Like, I know that's not, I know that's not the play, for sure. Draw cyber gadget, which can special summon back out Dotscaper from Graveyard. It's normal summon effect. I don't know how people don't know, like, the other effects of the Cybers. They just see him as, like, a Cybers monster that puts two bodies. But, like, they do other things. Yeah, they're not going to use the effect, though, because they have the XYZ, and they don't want them to go ahead and snatch it up. Make Lina. And then Gadget Summon Token. They don't Gadget Summon Token. Golden Lord, bring itself out. And then go battle phase. They're going to beat over. They take 500. Beat over token collector. Yeah, because that was the token collector. That was pendulum summoned in attack position. Then main phase two. Activate temple. So temple. Said misclick. Never mind. Okay. Did, why? Go for Selene, effect gain counters, and then effect lose counters, special summon out from the grave. Okay, so bring out Temple. Oh, because that's their only spellcaster in grave they can summon. Okay, that makes sense why that was a, a misclick. Misclick. <laughs> you know, go for access code, effect gain attack. And then effect a pop, banish dark light popping two they are going to go ahead pop swamp and orthros doesn't use temple effect in main phase two though because i can temple add back right past or ogre kepler effect which is a scale six now so that's going to destroy that and then, whoa, they go ahead and get rid of that, and I, I don't know. I guess they just realized that they lost. They threw or something, like, make Link 2, you get the effect to search for a dark contract. This doesn't really do anything at this point, because you've gone through Swamp. Like, you just can't make a thousand misplays and expect to still win. And also, they, they, yeah, you can only pendulum summon D monsters. This is definitely something that people uh, should realize. And this card has, like, an actual scale effect, uh, which should have came in... Like, the, the first time around, it didn't matter. Like, it just reduced the scale by two. But there was nothing, like, that could have been destroyed more. Um, yeah. Wait. Wait. They This destroyed a DDD. Wait, hold on. Yeah, the... Then destroy all monsters you control with a level greater than or equal to this card's pendulum scale, except DD monsters. Yeah, looks like I don't even know Kepler's scale effect. Um, or the the effect of bounce to hand. You can bounce to hand one of your scales, so that way you can use it link two to scale up. Now Kepler does a lot. Kepler does a lot. But. Yeah, I guess with all of that being done, seeing how long the match was. Oh my jeez, holy, an hour and 13 minutes. Oh gosh, no. But with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.